Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came in to talk some NFL with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, I got a chance to watch the game uh, this past afternoon. It was the Carolina Panthers versus the Arizona Cardinals. I watch pretty much every Panthers game. Huge fan. Um, look, I speak in this video not only as a Carolina Panthers fan, but as a football fan. And from week one to right now, Cam Newton has been getting such disrespect from the, the league officials. You know, obviously, Cam Newton is not your conventional quarterback. He likes to get out of the pocket. He likes to run. He does subject himself and leave himself open to a lot of hits. So I'm not saying that defensive players are shouldn't should hit him hard. Obviously, they're going to hit him hard. I would. You know, he's a big guy. It's hard to bring him down. So you have to hit him hard if you're going to bring him down to begin with. But it's 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 the the illegal hits, the hits to the head. The stuff that we see the refs throw 15-yard penalties for when it's Tom Brady or, you know, Tony Romo or Aaron Rodgers or one of these other quarterbacks, we have not seen Cam Newton get that same treatment. And in many ways, he's been defenseless. He's been getting hit in the head. I believe the NFL, because of their lack of officiating, has been subjecting Cam to a higher risk of a concussion because defensive players are getting more courageous the less and less they, make, they don't make these calls. So, you know, they won, Panthers won today. It was great to see them get back in the win call. They look like themselves again. And, you know, Lord knows how long that will last. They got a game against the Rams next week in L.A. Hopefully they can get the third, third win in the season and keep this train going because I want to see them make the playoffs. And you never know what happens after that. But... Cam needs to start getting the same treatment that these other quarterbacks get because this guy right here, he's first of all, he, he, whatever happened to the phrase you gotta protect your investment? Cam Newton is one of the most lucrative players for the NFL. He's one of the marquee players in the league. He's one of the top guys people pay top dollar to see. And if he's injured and he's getting hit, your product is gonna lose out. We've already seen that NFL ratings are going down. So it's not a good thing when the NFL doesn't protective investment especially when that guy was the MVP just last year the reigning MVP so I mean at least show him a little dignity uh, and some respect um, to make and make the right calls here's what he had to say about some of the hits there was on the Cardinals defense making making on him today he said I quote it's really taking the fun out of the game for me honestly um, because at times I don't even feel safe and in, enough is enough I plan on talking to Roger Goodell about this um, but it's not fun and I know what I have to do I could have told my ACL, and uh, that hit was the breaking point. He got he, he was talking about a hit. He got he, he got hit kind of low on his at way after the whistle and whatever he's gonna call it. And he's talking about that. But he continues and he says, "I quote: The story of my life ever since I came in came in is oh oh well we we missed that one. I'm sorry. Well we'll try to get it. That's bull crap. Uh, as players in this league, if we do something stupid, we get fined. If we do something derogatory or to somebody else, we get fined." I can't keep accepting, oh, we missed that one, or oh, I apologize for doing that. I didn't see it. That's horse crap. That's horse crap. And coming from a person that's been fine before, coming from a person everybody's expecting a lot from, and, and, and I'm still growing, but yet when you constantly see hits, constantly see flags being picked up, and you constantly see flags getting thrown to, to other quarterbacks getting it, lesser hits, lesser physical hits, then it's taking the fun for me out. I'm just being honest. So Cam's right, man. It's, it's, justifi it's very justified because here you have a guy who – is one of clearly the one of the best players in the NFL. If you say otherwise, you're an idiot. The guy just wants the same treatment as the other top quarterbacks in the league. And you know, at this point in time, he's earned it. He's earned the treatment. You know, he's taken the Panthers to the Super Bowl. He's you know won playoff games. He's had 15 win seasons, 12 win seasons, three straight division titles, MVP, rookie passing records. Uh, you know, NFL quarterback rushing records. You know, the guy has done a lot in the league. And he doesn't, he's done a lot on the field to warrant the respect. So why isn't he getting it? You know, we don't know. We can only sit here and speculate. But hopefully some change comes about this. And I'm glad Cam's getting out there um, in his loud uh, clothing that he wore today. <laughs> and, he's, and, he, and, he, and he's making his opinions and his voice heard about this because nothing's going to change if he stays quiet about it. So I'm glad, you know, that Cam Newton, who's probably very nicked up and banged up, you know, is speaking out on this because... I said in week one after the Broncos game that the NFL is not giving the same treatment. It's continued all the way to week eight. So it is what it is, guys. Hopefully this can improve because Cam Newton, 
I don't know how he's even still healthy right now, honestly. He's showing a lot of toughness, a lot of grit. And hopefully he can take a lot of this adversity and channel it. And the Panthers can ride this into a successful winning streak and a successful season and, and get back to the playoffs. And if we, if we get back to the playoffs, look, we've been on the big stage before. We've got to the Super Bowl. We've, we've won playoff games in other years. The Panthers aren't phased by the NFC. They're not phased by the big stage. Um, if anything, we're waiting to get back there. We got to a really bad start. Um, we had a lot of moving parts in this team, but I think uh, with the schedule softening up a little bit, uh, hopefully the Panthers will make that push. But yeah, this is, this has got to change. It's getting ridiculous. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this whole thing. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm um, Jessica from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.